Oh my, what a glorious day it is today. Such a shame. I'm going to be spending most of it indoors. See, the thing is, I'm quite an OCD person, apart from the days when I'm not quite so OCD. Which is why I've just got these to sort this out. Always wanted to just organize all of my gear in Peli cases, stacked up. So what's been going on this week? Well, first of all, I went to the UK photography show where I got to meet loads of you guys and girls. It was brilliant just having a talk and getting to know you. I think we should do it more often. Secondly, oh yes, I appeared in a DJI campaign which I mentioned way back when I said I was doing a two-day job in Hong Kong. Yes, that's right, tomorrow I'm flying out to Asia for a two-day job. I can't actually show you the next bits yet because I was in Hong Kong on a paid assignment for DJI. I will show you my stuff when they show you their stuff. That was when I got to meet Abu Luck and he shot some of the behind-the-scenes stuff for me on the first day of the shoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always appear with a cup of coffee. You always have McDonald's before you do a shoot. <laughs> yeah. I've never been in this situation where I get like makeup. Do I have to wear makeup? Yeah. Can, you, like can you give me a beard? A bit white. Yes. Play with that. Oh, cool. Look at that new colour. When does the Hello Kitty version come out? <laughs> like you haven't shaved it really well enough. How, how often do you have to shave men? First time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Today's shoot is 8 a.m. to midnight, so I hope we finish on time. <laughs> DJI first contacted me about this way back. This was like when I first left Digital Web TV, in fact. I didn't have any money. They asked me if I wanted to be in their campaign, and I said yes, well, obviously. And part of the reason for saying yes is because I actually like and use their products. It doesn't make sense for me to do it if I don't actually believe in their products. I use their Osmos and their Phantoms. Or rather, I should say use because I crashed mine. We are on the peak. Peak. The peak peak. The peak. The peak peak. It's called Victoria Peak actually, isn't it, officially? I don't know. Did she live up here? Then she have to live on the peak, the harbour, the park, the... Royalty, greedy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ultimate trolley I've seen. Full of expensive gear and we're shooting another segment which is we're on location with the helium 8k camera the red camera the size of that thing Ooh, that costs twelve thousand hong kong dollars to rent per day this is what i'm going to be riding there's no seat not very comfortable to ride there's no pedals as well no, you don't have to pedal. Someone, no, someone push you. But where am I going to put my feet? <laughs> I'm going to drag along. My ass will be torn in two, and my feet will be worn down to two little. I'll just have stumps for legs. No, no feet. I've just been told that we've got insurance, <laughs> which is always a good sign. But uh, yeah, it's not just my life. It's the life of a helium 8K. That's more important, right? Yeah, more expensive. So now we're trying to do it again in this smooth turn, roll, actual roll. Level, level, the it's weird, oh, it's all, okay. rather than being on this side. Got it. Rolled over my own foot. It's a fun wheel. Back wheel. 
you know what? I think I'm pretty much done here. Anyway, this next bit, if you've got a bit of a weak heart or you're prone to premature defecation in your own underpants, go to the toilet, hold on to something, because this bit is kind of scary. And watch out for that guy in the green jacket. There's off, there's off. Okay. Sus. I mean, that guy's MVP for sure. He's like the Bruce Lee of production crew members. I'm so glad that was me. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> that just... We're still trying to figure out how to make it not shake it too much. It's not my insurance, so it doesn't affect my premium. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. If you're thinking you want a career in the production industry, film, TV, adverts, whatever, expect long days, perhaps catching the odd falling carrot, and also slogging it out. It's hard work. It's not easy carrying that. No. <laughs> Even that, just that. Uh, fruit hat. It was so warm down there, I left my coat. <laughs> now it's bloody cold. It's so cold up here, I have to redo my makeup. <laughs> oh. I bet I look really ridiculous with this hoodie, but uh, it's so warm. <laughs> Kai's going to take a photo of me now. Yeah. This is, it's funny because you, you're like, oh, I don't wear, wear t shirts and uh, casual gear. So narrow here, I can't really move in. I don't, I don't fancy rolling down there. Didn't die. <laughs> Success. <laughs> yeah, look at that drop. <laughs> All the way to Victoria Harbour. Pacific <laughs> Ocean. <laughs> All the way to Pacific Ocean. Not a bad place for picnic, is it? <laughs> Or suicide, up to you. Or both. Yeah. Almost a full day. The sun is almost setting. Uh, well, it's not almost setting. It's starting to set. That's the first time we fly the drone. Okay. Look, there's, there's something that just doesn't look right with this for some reason. It's, it doesn't always got a picture of a lady on the long chips. <laughs> let's see, let's see just how long it is. Still <laughs> 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 And at that point, as the sun was setting, we were finishing up the last shots at that location. Locke didn't have any more battery power for his A7S II. Then it was off to dinner, back to the studio, and then day two, back up that mountain again. More studio stuff, and then VO work. Do you need this? No, it's all, I'm fine. Okay. Everyone was super cool to work with. DJI peeps, production crew, was a pleasure. Anyway, end of the month, or rather start of the month, which means prize draw announcement time. Let's see who has an answer worth winning. I need, I need a bag because I'd love to smell Kai's sweat. Sweaty bag, need your sweaty sack, okay. I don't need it, used garbage belongs in a trash, plus it's probably, plus it's probably has avian or swine flu from China. I think we've found our winner. Let's just give the used bag to him with maybe a dead bird inside the bag. 
Great, so I've found the winner, Aslan Jason. The carrot and the bag is yours. Enjoy. Yippee! Phew, thought I'd never get rid of that used old sweaty shit.